Crimean Tatars or Kirimli. Who are they? What are they known for? What did they give to the world? And how did they change history? Watch the new video blog, Moments of History, Personalities, to find out. Crimean Khan Mengli Jiri had five daughters. Four of them were married to representatives of influential dynasties of the Khanate. But the fifth and favorite Ashaf Sa Sultan captivated Prince Selim of the Ottoman Empire with her beauty. Ashaf Sa was born in the winter of 1479 in the Devlet Sarai Palace. Her mother was Mukdum Sultan, from the noble Circassian family of Beslans. The fate of the young princess changed with the arrival of the Ottoman Sheikh Said Selim in Kirkir. The prince was the third son of Sultan Bayezid II, which means he was not a direct heir to the throne of the Ottoman Empire. Everyone thought so, except Selim himself. He was energetic and purposeful, like his grandfather Memd Fadi, the conqueror of Constantinople. Therefore, he took care of his future in advance. Sheikh Said understood that in order to gain the throne, he needed to strengthen his position and gain the support of a strong ally. The Crimean Khan was ideally suited for this role, and the key to success was to have a dynastic marriage with a Crimean princess. Mengli Jiri was a strategist and had long relied on Selim as a future sultan and he agreed to the marriage. Thus, Aish Hafsa, a Crimean princess from the Genghisids, at the age of 14 marries the future Sultan Selim Yavuz, whose ancestors, the Oghuz Kei tribe's princes, were able to create a new state that, thanks to Selim and his descendants, would soon conquer half of the world. So the interests of the parties converged. Nikya was concluded in Kirkir, and then, together with her husband, Ashafsa went to the Ottoman Empire. According to one of the official versions, Ashafsa was the mother of Sultan Suleiman Kanyuni and his five sisters. Selim needed the support of his father-in-law, and partly thanks to his wife and her relatives from the Crimea, he became the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire in 1512 and Ashafsa was given the title of Valide Sultan, the first lady in the state. However, Ashafsa spent most of her time not in the Istanbul Palace, but in Manisa, beside her son Suleiman. It was in this city that she enjoyed special respect. Majestic mosques, schools, and hospitals were built in Manisa at her expense. To this day, the building of a charitable foundation to help the mentally disabled has been preserved. This woman often interfered in the state affairs of her country. She was allowed to do so. After all, she was the daughter and sister of the rulers of a neighboring country. It is certain that she defended the interests of the Crimean Khanate both during the reign of her husband Selim Yavuz and during the reign of her son Suleiman Kanyuni. Ashaf Sa Sultan died in March 1534 and was buried next to her husband in the mausoleum of the Selim Yavuz Mosque in Istanbul. It is noteworthy that the day of the death of Valide Ashaf Sa Sultan is still celebrated in Turkey as the day of one of the most beloved and respected women by the people.